hi everyone as from the title you can see information technology and hotels uh, so these videos I have created for the you viewers who are not having much in-depth awareness about information technology and what is the association with the hotels and how information technology is supporting uh, the hotel operations so starting from the reception up to the guest rooms and then up to the restaurants everywhere IT is involved nowadays so understanding the role of information technology in a hotel is very much necessary uh, for the viewers who are keen to get knowledge about that of hotel operations so let's have a look at uh, our agenda uh, we'll be definitely we'll be looking at the understanding the basic environment of hotel because uh, do keep remember one thing that if you are studying anything anything or uh, doing analysis or doing research about anything so first you need to understand the environment where that object or project or, or product is being used so definitely once you have the overview of the environment then surely you can learn more about the infrastructure or the structure or the usage benefits and the features of the product so we'll be conceptualizing uh, the guest stay to give you an idea about the environment of a hotel and then we'll be looking at data life cycle of a guest stay how the data flows from one system to another identifying different systems at each stage of guest stay how the systems are linked with each other the role of IT department uh, and uh, for every organization for every business nowadays IT is the backbone for operations and we can say that IT is the backbone of hotel operations as well nowadays uh, furthermore we'll be discussing other systems other systems you mean there are certain systems which are mandatory to run the hotel operations such as financial system reservation system so these are the our point of sale system these are the systems which are very much necessary mandatory nowadays to run the hotel operations but there are other, other systems also uh, available uh, which are not mandatory but uh, they put add-on values to the guest services so let's start with understanding the environment of a hotel now every business involves two entities business and the client in hospitality industry we call the client as a guest and hotels nowadays every hotel almost every hotel is having the for these are the following basic these are the basic facility facilities remember this again these are the basic facilities rooms rooms equipped, equipped with TV AC furniture study table telephone internet wired and wireless heater tea and coffee facility towels laundry facility shoe polish amenities such as shaving kit dental kit etc then the restaurants dining facilities there are a variety of food and beverage uh, swimming pool sauna steam room gym hair salon spa etc and uh, the business center with computers fax telephone etc so these are the basic facilities which are there nowadays in every almost in every hotel So let's talk about the guest stay life cycle in the hotel. Let's take an example. A guest named Mr. John comes to Hotel Alpha, books a room for two nights at 200 USD or US dollar per night. Checks in at 2 p.m. and later goes out for business meeting. Comes back to the hotel and spends his evening in the restaurant. Spends about 100 USD, US dollar on snacks. Now. Uh, you can see this uh, highlighted words are there uh, like books a room it is uh, highlighted with the orange color text for two nights at 200 USD dollar uh, US dollars per night checks in at 2 p.m. later goes out and then we have restaurant uh, highlighted in orange color and then 100 US dollar on snacks so which means that uh, I'm just highlighting some of the information which will be very useful later on. So, at the next step, later in the night, <clears throat> Mr. John watches a movie by paying 10 US dollar and orders dinner valued at 100 US dollar in his room. 
So meanwhile waiting for his dinner he calls his friends through the hotel telephone landline and incurs 10 US dollar telephone charges. After dinner, he gets on internet by paying 5 US dollar for one hour usage and posts some lovely pictures for his family back in the hometown. So keep an eye on these highlighted bells you can see because this is the major information which is going to be stored in the hotel systems. So on last day, he goes to reception, pays the bill of 625 US dollar and checks out at 12 noon. Happy ending. Now see what happens. So we now we do the analysis of Mr. Jones' stay. Okay. At step one, Mr. John booked a room, checked in. As you can see, we have seen that Mr. John checked in and then spends on dinner uses paid internet service and telephone pays the bill upon checkout so this is the life cycle of mr john stay now all this data he booked a room and then spends money on dinner or internet or whatever so all that billing or data is stored in pms which is called property management system Now let's have a look at how many systems were involved during Mr. John's stay. Check-in process. Receptionist records his arrival and departure date in the PMS, which is property management system, and completes the process for creating a reservation. So in simple words, you can say like almost nowadays, everybody has seen that once you go to the airline counter, airline office, and you book a ticket, or you go to and watch any movie to the cinema or to any other place or children parks sometimes there are playlands are there so you need to have a ticket so same thing like once you have the ticket you paid the money you have the ticket now you can go into the playland and you can use uh, the facilities there same like in the hotels also we have the system which is called property management system First, you need to book the room if you want to stay in the hotel, of course. And then, of course, once your booking is created or the reservation, you can say, is created, then, of course, the hotel will allow you to check in and go to the room. So, in the market, many PMS systems are available where the guest data is stored centrally and electronically, such as Opera, HMS, Brilliant, Prologic, etc. Many other systems are available in the market that are that offers different features. Almost all the PMS systems uh, do provide the basic features to store the data uh, about the guest, his name, address, passports, let's say, IDs, and then the billing, of course, whatever he has spent uh, inside the hotel during his stay, or if he didn't stay in the hotel, so then the data is stored in the uh, POS as a walk-in point of sale system so that will stay in just in point of sale system then the data will not come into PMS so let's have a look first of all uh, create a reservation the first step and then check in bills settle bills checks out and all this is being done through PMS system so the reservation is created Checks, checks in the guest checks into the hotel and of course in the PMS system also once the reservation is created then the status will change to once the guest is checked in the status will change to in-house then the bills will come into the PMS system uh, the guest settles the bill and checks out how the data flow uh, in between different systems so now, please pay, pay close attention to the bills that are going into PMS system, which can be installed on the normal desktop PC or on a high-end server hardware in larger environments. So PMS need to be installed just like 
uh, for a different peer different peer PMS systems are available just like why I'm saying that it can be installed on a desktop PC or high-end servers same like as an example you can install Windows 7 on a normal or Windows 10 on a normal PC or desktop but for Windows 2012 definitely you need a larger higher-end server and uh, so just keep in mind that all those builds are coming into PMS system through other systems let's have a look telephone bill goes to PMS folio now remember one thing that same like if you if you talk about if you take an example of a manual system let's say uh, a hotel is here which is not having any electronic system of course which is not possible nowadays but let's assume so what you will do if you are at the hotel reception you will be having a register where you will write the guest name his uh, check-in date and then uh, ID his ID details and his room number so all these details you'll be writing in the register the same like that in the PMS system we have a file for we have file for every separate guest separate files and those files are called in PMS or in hotel industry those files are called folio now telephone bill goes to PMS folio or you can say the file of a guest then guest every night 200 USD dollar is there uh, US dollar is there so that 200 per night bill will be posted to folio which means in a file or register then the guest ordered dinner and snacks so that bill goes from POS system to PMS folio POS means point of sale system later on the guest watched the movie he purchased the movie through video on demand system so that bill also goes to PMS folio through video on demand system internet charge of course that also goes to PMS system so this was the circle and let's our cute PMS system is here so what's happening now telephone bill goes to PMS folio every night charge $200 dinner snacks video internet charge now internet charge how internet charge is going into PMS system for internet facilities in in the hotels we have uh, a system which is called internet billing solution or in sometimes in general terms that is called as HSIA in the previous years uh, when we were not having that much higher bandwidth but especially in the hotels we were having higher bandwidth as compared to a normal retailer so in still some people refer to it as HSIA high speed internet access okay so we have a separate system internet billing solutions because the guest has taken one hour he has paid ten dollar and he has taken one hour usage so that token he will be using later on on his laptop or on his machine and that ten dollar is basically generated through internet billing solution which then transfers this ten dollar to PMS system into the guest folio then we have telephone PABX system so once the guest has or Mr. John has used uh, the telephone landline which is there inside the room so definitely nothing is free in the hotel remember this so once he has used the telephone so telephone charges are there just like you're using your mobile phone so there is a charge for that same like in the hotels also uh, for sometimes for uh, local areas there is no charge but intercity may be the charges here and for sure international calling charges are there so the telephone PABX system is a separate system which uh, calculates the call charges also and uh, inside the telephone PABX system or you can say integrated with PABX system is another system which is called call accounting system so telephone PABX system is just providing the facility for dial in and dial out or to receive the call or uh, to dial a number but then in in between telephone PABX system and the PMS system there is call accounting system which 
calculates the charges based on the duration and destination okay then every night 200 us dollar is posted to the guest folio and that pms system module is called front office system then we have point of sale system same like in supermarkets you have seen point of sale systems same like in hotels also we do have that system so if a guest is staying inside in the hotel then uh, ultimately through the point of sale system the cashier or the waiter selects that in-house guest and then he selects a room number which is coming through PMS system and he posts the bill if the guest or uh, he's not staying inside the hotel and some walk-ins came and just they, some visitors came and they visited any restaurant and they took dinner or lunch or whatever then that charge stays in the POS and they pay the bill in the restaurant itself or at the counter of the reception, uh, restaurant itself okay then we have because Mr. John purchased a video so he has purchased the we have in hotels we have different systems uh, which is some which is called video on demand system so once you switch on your TV or the guest switch on the TV on the TV same like nowadays you have cable TV almost everywhere and you can purchase the videos same like in hotels also we have a separate video on demand system and now of course uh, this video on demand system is growing as ever as like other systems so there are different many shapes of video on demand systems are there but definitely those we'll be discussing in later sessions so this is all about this session uh, that, that was a basic understanding basic life cycle of uh, how the data flow flows in between different systems and what is the basic environment and basic infrastructure of a hotel and information technology stay tuned for the next session in which we'll be discussing all the systems basic mandatory systems one by one in detail have a great day and if you have any comments please let me know see you next time